Welcome to The Big Show and The Big Show TV. We are counting down to the greatest hit of all time and we certainly love uh, this new format if you're watching us on The Big Show TV, which is our Facebook page, 1FM 91.3. A big thank you to our technical chief here on The Big Show, Chia Hui. Thank you very much. Give her a big hand, everybody. Yay! All right. And she's like keeping her fingers crossed and we hope everything goes well. <laughs> We are counting down the top it. 10 songs. Yeah. Hey, I just want to say, uh, for those of you who are watching us on the Big Show TV right now, don't you think Angel looks so good? She's She she looks so wonderful. I almost had to key in my Netflix password. So pretty. Oh, R21, this show. <laughs> Angel, you're making all of us look ugly, you know? Oh, yes. you guys are looking super snazzy today. And if you have no <laughs> idea what we're talking about, to just tune in. Keep on tuning in and you'll see. Uh, I think Sean's uh, going to take pieces of clothing off at some point as well. I think oh. so, yes, yes. But all that is happening on the Big Show TV. So, you know, whatever happens on the radio, for those of you who are listening to us exclusively on the radio, it's going to be good. But it's going to be mm-hmm. even better if you're watching us on the Big Show TV where you get everything. As I mentioned earlier on, um, you know, we're counting down the top 10 songs all the way to number one. Uh, we're certainly uh, looking forward to because we, we, we have no idea. Okay, which song is going to be number one uh, And uh, neither do you But those of you who have guessed the number one song Taken part in the Guess the Number One Song contest Make sure you stay by your phones Because as soon as the countdown is over We'll be calling out to one of you, okay Before we start things out right now I also want to say a big thank you to our music director Charmaine Poir Who's put in blood, sweat and tears For the past few months actually uh, and of course we've been counting down for the past uh, two weeks so thank mm. you very much uh, to Charmaine Poir and also to all our contributors Natalie Dow uh, BB Chia Dr. Geraldine Tan Julian Ko uh, Adrian Chu Luke Tan and uh, Makan Sutra's KF Sito all of them will be featured on the Big Show TV today so it's gonna be a yeah. huge show Alrighty. So much going so on. How... So remember, if you want to see all the fun, you have to head to our Facebook page. So how do all our contrib- contributors get involved? Well, it depends on where they come up during the show. Uh, if, For example, if they're up at number eight, they'll be talking about their eight favorite whatevers. Okay, so hmm. it's going to run in line with the countdown. So it's going to be really, really interesting. Glenn, are we ready to kick this off? Because people want to know. All right, as long as you guys are ready, I am ready. Oh, everyone's ready. The whole of Singapore is ready. Let's go. All right, then. Here's song number 10 on 1FM 91.3's greatest hits of all time countdown. Down, Queen, we are the champions. And for everybody at home on the Big Show TV. We are the champions, my friend. Okay, that's about enough. You all know the song. Now. You all know the song. <laughs> That's it, that's it, that's it. Let me play so much. So wow. this, is, this is what's going to happen, okay, later, folks, uh, watching us on the Big Show TV. And I'm sure now, I mean, there's this function whereby, you know, you can actually uh, cast it on your, yes. on your big screen. And if people mm-hmm. realise we are now in Super HD... We are all in oh, Super wow. HD. Oh. I'm finally in the right wow. side. I'm facing the right side. We're not using <laughs> webcams anymore. These are oh, no. very, very expensive. Yeah, all your pimples are, I can see. That's why they put <laughs> I was about up. to say, which means our faces don't, don't look as smooth as uh, it no, usually no, does. No filter. You can put a built beauty filter. <laughs> but Angel's face still looks smooth, I have to say. Angel forever looks smooth. Thank you. Uh, I've got every wrinkle much. showing everywhere. <laughs> oh, no. Hey, anyway, this is right. how uh, our contributors uh, uh, are going to be part of the show today right. So, um, you know, up next, we're going to be playing song number nine, okay? Yes. Mm-hmm. And right after uh, uh, that song and we come back on the Big Show TV again like this What's going to happen is because it's song number nine mm-hmm. Our first contributor, which will be Natalie Dow, Rockstar Arms Will do nine favourite exercises Okay, oh, so I, I'm, I'm letting you guys in on this. Uh, we will tell you again later, uh, just yeah. before. Mm-hmm. Uh, so Rockstar Arms got to do like nine something, and I just mentioned yeah. favorite exercises. And then later on, you know, after song number eight, we get back on the Big Show TV. Then it's going to be Bibi Chia's turn. She's going to do eight of you know the best of something favorites. else mm-hmm. and 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 so on and so forth after song number seven, it's going to be Dr. Jerry, and she's going to come up with her seven tips. Okay, so um, uh, just to explain, in case you're wondering, hmm, 
why is it Rockstar Arms is coming up with nine exercises and then, you know, BB's got <laughs> like eight. eight. Yeah. yeah. I know most yeah, of you yeah. will get it, but some of you, you know, might be a bit slow. So I thought... You <laughs> might know. be a bit slow. <laughs> <laughs> so so the number 10 it? song, I mean, uh, Queen's uh, We Are The Champions. Um, do we know anything about this song? It's it's very interesting because it's not just it We was, Are The it Champions. Was, it was written for uh, Manchester United. <laughs> Actually, no, it wasn't. It wasn't. But two songs that came off that album, We Are The Champions and We Will Rock You, center around the word we. Everybody has always thought that the we was the band. Yeah. We okay. will rock you. We are the champions. It's not. Yeah. The we is, is the audience because Ooh. the songs were written as sing-along songs. Wow. So the That's we refers to the audience. Ooh, okay, stand by. We're oh, back I on thought air. it was we're a royal we air. because they're queen. Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> well, <laughs> we welcome, were, welcome we were chatting down. nicely on the big show TV. <laughs> we do apologize. Uh, that was uh, song number 10, by the way, on 1FM 91.3's greatest hits of all time countdown. Queen, we are the champions. I can't <laughs> believe, I can't believe that just happened. I mean, there are four people here in the studio. <laughs> <laughs> There's a we lot of things going excited. on. There's a lot of things going on. Okay, yeah. <laughs> I, I, I now uh, would like to request that uh, Shalini Susan uh, be the timekeeper. Please. All right. So just in okay. case you know we we we, we yeah. um, you know we chat a little bit too much on the big show TV. We have ten <laughs> screens in the studio. Somebody keep an eye on one of them, please. <laughs> okay. So anyway, we were just talking about Queen. I mean, very very interesting actually. Queen, we are the champions. Um, could you just repeat what you you mentioned, okay. uh, FD, about about uh, the okay. title? We, we are, are the champions. We are the champions, and uh, as well as the song, we will rock you off the album. Uh, the we does not refer to the band. We all thought it refers to the band. It doesn't. It refers to the audience, because both songs oh. were written as sing-along songs. They just said it, la. Oh. I'm sure it was the <laughs> royal we. They are queen, after all. <laughs> that is true. <laughs> <laughs> well, according to the band, the we is the audience. They said too that songs were written to unify the audience at their concerts. Mm. So that's why it doesn't we show when you watch Bohemian Rhapsody, though. When you watch the movie, it says nothing of the sort. I think you're just pulling these facts out of thin air. <laughs> okay, hey, Natalie Dow is uh, waiting for us. Uh, she's up next on the Big Show TV. Uh, but right now, here is song number nine on 1FM 91.3's greatest hits of all time countdown, Forever Young by Alphaville. Back. And for everybody at home... <laughs> Okay, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> I love the way we do this. Look at that hair, though. I mean, he had such perfect hair. <laughs> in, case, right, so. in, in case people are wondering, okay, why are we playing like seven seconds of the song, ten seconds of the song? That's yes. because um, if we play anything longer than that, Facebook is going to shut us down. Yes. So, yeah. yeah we don't want that. Yeah. All right. So speaking of Facebook, uh, every Monday we have Natalie Dow kickstart our Big Show TV. So here she is with uh, nine favorite exercises from Rockstar Arms. Hi, guys. It's Natalie here, a.k.a. Rockstar Arms. And I've been coming to you live every Monday morning on 91.3 with Rockstar Fit Mondays. Now, I am going to share with you my nine favorite exercises that anyone can do at home or in the park and no equipment needed. So let's get fit together. First exercise, let's start off with an air squat. Feet a little bit wider than hip width, hands in front and up and down we go. This is exercise number two. Let's get that heart rate moving. And we are going to do star jumps or jumping jacks, whichever you prefer to call them. So, Nice, smooth movement, doesn't need to be too fast. Exercise number three, let's work on those legs again and we are going to lunge backwards. Hands on hips, stay nice and upright and knee just gently towards the floor. Exercise number four, one that we have a love-hate relationship with and that is a burpee. So we're gonna do a half burpee, get ready, down we go. Kick out, back up, and straighten. Exercise 
exercise number five. Let's work on those rock star arms. We're doing push-ups. Hands beneath our shoulders. Really strengthen that core, <laughs> suck in the belly, squeeze the butt. Down we go, chest to the ground and up. Now, if this is too hard, on your knees is fine. Chest to the ground and back up. Exercise number six, let's work on our triceps. Hands facing our butt, lifting our feet and down and up. Elbows in, really feel it through the back of your arms. Exercise number seven, this time we are doing a bird dog. Hands under shoulders, on your knees, opposite hand, opposite leg out. Really great for working the balance, sucking that belly and really. Exercise number eight, come on, let's work on those abs. We are going to do butterfly sit-ups. Feet together, all the way back, up and touch our toes. Love this. Love nice butterfly sit-ups. Unreal. Keep those feet on the ground as you come up. She does all this and she doesn't even, she doesn't turn a sweat. Finally, the last exercise, we're going to stick with our core and our abs and we're going to do bicycle crunches. So, opposite elbow, opposite leg. So guys, they are my favourite nine exercises that you can do anytime, anywhere. So stay fit and healthy, everyone. Oh, pretty awesome. Thank you awesome. so there much, Nat. There you go. Yeah. Thank you. Natalie I was working Dow. out, no. Yeah, we well, had. Yes, you, you look at, yes. Yeah, um, I, I did so a few I, uh, I'm just, star jumps. I'm just wondering whether any of the guys from Alphaville have ever done those exercises. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> I'm sure they have. You can also see all the behind the scenes on our Instagram stories. So uh -huh. today, if you're watching and you want to see what Glenn is doing in the studio and stuff like that as well, <laughs> you can go to 1FM 91.3 okay, and check it out. Okay, so if you're new to uh, The Big Show TV, this happens every day from 8 to 9 o'clock on uh, from Monday to Friday. And we kickstart Monday with Rockstar Fit Mondays uh, with Natalie Dow, as you just saw. That was just a snippet of what she does on Mondays at 8 a.m. So if you want to start your week off working out, uh, working up a sweat tune in from monday at eight o'clock and natalie dow kicks it off so those were her nine favorite exercises um hardly breaking a sweat there because that wasn't even a warm-up for her that's what she does every day like a hundredfold uh but if you do want to exercise you can always head back to our facebook page uh we put all our videos up and you can um, go back and re-watch the videos anytime you want and once again, it was uh, nine favorite exercises by Rockstar Arms because we're playing Alphaville's Forever Young at number nine right now. Mm -hmm. And uh, our music historian, anything music historian. on uh, Alphaville? Every... <laughs> our music historian, I love this. I'm suddenly the, the, the music historian. Uh, for those of you who are new to Alphaville, and if you are, I wonder why. They're actually a German synth pop band. And they've been around since 1982. And it's only Marion Gold who is still performing under uh, the, the name Alphaville. The other members have all changed. So they, it all started in 1980 and they have been running since then. They still do gigs, believe it or not, um, ev even in their ripe old ages. But you'll find that they've... <laughs> they've yeah, ripe old ages. I can say this. You guys can't. Um, but they have been big in some very interesting places like Turkey and Venezuela. Can you believe it? They are massive in Turkey and Venezuela. How the Venezuelans understand them, I have no idea. But uh, they are very How massive. Probably the old... <laughs> yeah, exactly. They, they, well, okay. For, like, for example, if you take certain, certain groups, um, they're not big in their home countries, but they're huge here. Mm. Michael learns to rock in Asia. Huge. Yeah. Um, oh, yeah. mm. it, it's just how they, they suddenly reach a country and the country connects Sweet with them. Sweet spot. So yeah. David yeah, Hasselhoff as a singer. Nowhere, oh. right? <laughs> There's no country in the world that recognizes him as a singer except Germany. Except Germany. Oh, there so you this go. Happened, yeah, this has happened with Alphaville. Uh, till today, mm. they are massive in Turkey and, and in Venezuela. Uh, their, their popularity has not waned one little bit. So it's really interesting. quite interesting how they've developed mm. uh, through the years with only one original member still with the group. Hmm. Hmm. The rest are well. They're alive. at number nine, right? They've all they're alive, but every, oh, okay. they, they've they left don't do it anymore. They've retired. Join. They're forever young. Yeah, right? they're kind of retired. <laughs> so new people come in. You, you know, they 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 try to freshen up the look of the band and and the sound mm. of the band. How old are they really, now? They must be what? 
they Age have got to be not that old. old, I think. Not that old. They'd be in their forties, maybe. What? Forties? 40? 40? No it? way, 40s, la. No, oh, la. Okay. They'd be in their fifties. Okay. They'd I. 50s. 50s. Okay, you have thirty okay. seconds. To I challenge the music historian <laughs> there. I'm not sure. I'm, I, I'll, I'll be honest. When it comes to age, I'm not sure. You said right well old, so I was thinking like eighty, like yeah. pruny or something. Yeah, but you, know? you see, this morning I'm this feeling like I'm. Today I'm feeling like 20, so 50 is right old. Oh, you look sharp at oh, me. Oh, are well. you? You're looking sharp, yeah. Liking the jacket. And I just want to say, I, I don't know you. anything about Alphaville, so because, you know, I, this was before my time. <laughs> okay, so anyway, we go back on air. Huh? Okay. Right. Here we go. Welcome back to Singapore's biggest annual countdown show, 1FM 91.3's greatest hits of all time countdown. It's Glenn Angel, Effie and Sean live on The Big Show and The Big Show TV. Hope you're enjoying the countdown so far. Uh, we've played you uh, song number 10, Queen, We Are The Champions. At nine, Alphaville's Forever Young. And we're moving on to uh, song number eight right now. Okay, so uh, song number eight... You know, because there's so many people who wanted this song to be number one. To be number as well. one. Can I say I, I play this song so in my spin sorry. class? You do? I do, I do. I love this song. You oh, do? Wow. It's, a, yeah. it's a great it's a, track. It's a Bon Jovi song, folks. It's a Bon oh. Jovi song. Um, <laughs> here we go. Uh, FD, tell us a little bit about Bon Jovi. American band, rock band formed in 1983 in New Jersey. Uh, it all centered around John Bon Jovi and their keyboardist, David Bryan. Um, the original bassist, Alec John, uh, quit the band in 94. Um, and between 84 and 85, they released their first two albums um, and managed to crack the top 40 straight away. Now, the, the third album, Slippery When, when Wet, sold 20 million copies in the day uh, and it included three top 10 singles two of which reached number one so they wow. have had a really really good career in total they have released 16 studio albums five compilations and three live albums they have sold more than a hundred million records worldwide excellent that is, awesome. that is awesome and you know bon jovi bon jovi is too pretty to be a rocker actually he should be in a <laughs> boy mean, john bon jovi yeah yes oh bon jovi, bon jovi all of them right yeah, yeah i was gonna well, say he, you know i don't really care yeah. about the rest of them i mean john bon jovi has really aged gracefully <laughs> he has he's he's done yeah. it really well he's tried a few other things uh very shortly i mean he's done some acting Mm -hmm. I'm glad he gave up on no, that. No, not a bad oh, actor, actually. Not the, bad. Not, yeah, not, the be bad. not the best yeah. as far as I'm concerned. You stick to the singing. He's really good at that. But I got to <laughs> tell you guys this, okay? Because they were down in the 90s here in Singapore. And uh, mm -hmm. this story has become legendary because um, some of my friends were at the press conference. All right? Okay. So uh, a journalist asked them this question, right? What do you guys do during your free time? And, uh, you know, in unison, they all said, we have sex. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Well done. Can and, uh, you know, the whole room was, uh, was silent <gasps> at, at, at that point. Yeah. Singapore. Oh, wow. <laughs> okay, here's song number eight <laughs> on the countdown. Bon Jovi, It's My Life on 1FM 91.3's greatest hits of all time countdown. Woohoo! Bon Jovi. <laughs> Great okay. answer. Simple at home. It's my life. It's now near. Very good. Oh my goodness, you're <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Just when you're getting into it. Right? Actually, I put that nicely. I put that very politely, actually. Actually, they didn't say we have oh, sex. Worse. What did they, they say? said we, and they used that oh, one, that wow. one, that one F word. That one word, yeah. Oh, right. okay. <laughs> yeah. oh wow. my gosh. Nice. Rockers, right? Okay. All right. Yep. So you know, actually... Uh, as 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 we're doing this, um, mm. you know, we talked about Natalie Dow being on the show in in on Monday mornings, and Natalie every Monday is followed by BB Chia. She's our, our resident dietitian, and we've all learned so much about what we should eat and what we shouldn't eat from BB. So here is BB with her list of the eight best foods to eat right now. 
Hi everybody, I am Vivi Chia, a dietitian by profession and a food lover by nature. We are celebrating 1FM's Big Countdown and with that, I have selected 8 top foods to eat right now. At number 8, I have kombucha, a naturally fermented tea with pro and postbiotics for better gut health. At number 7, I have umami chef. Conveniently delivering healthy cooked meals to your home. What's more, complete the gut health predictor and select your very own gut healthy meals in just a couple of clicks. Next I have is cabbage at number 6. It is rich in sulforaphane, a powerful phytochemical protecting your health. Apart from that, it is kimchi making season right now. At number 5, I have apples. This humble household staple is the granny of all health food slogans. Why eat them now? Mm, well, these juicy Japanese apples are in season. Next is number 4. It's to help raise the awareness of World Osteoporosis Day. We call them nuts, but technically they are troops. Almonds are nutritious and rich in calcium, helping you prevent osteoporosis. At number 3, I have chestnuts. This autumn harvest reminds me of my childhood. They smell fantastic when roasted and can help you reduce visceral fat and blood cholesterol levels. Next, at number 2, I have sunma. Now this sword looking fish is now in season. It is rich in omega-3, giving you all the essential fatty acids needed for good heart, eye and joint health. And lastly but finally, at number 1, we have lion's mane mushrooms. These white globe shaped fungi may enhance brain function and should definitely be in your next meat 3 dish. I hope you like the top 8 selections I have picked for you and see you every Monday 8.30am on The Big Show TV by 1FM 91.3 FM. Thank you so much, Aww, BB Chia! That was fantastic! Yeah. Let's go back Are on air! Right Stand by in 3, 2... My Life. Song number eight on the countdown. It's My Life by Bon Jovi. Certainly hope you're enjoying the show from wherever you're catching us from. Uh, if you're listening to us on The Big Show TV, on the radio, exclusively on the radio, thank you so much for listening. If you're listening and watching us on The Big Show TV, of course, you get bonuses. Uh, we just had uh, eight great best foods to eat. Right now by BB Chia uh, And um, well, let's move along right now To song number 7 uh, Song number 7 is by ABBA, by the way One of the most successful bands of all time Commercially successful as well They reigned from uh, 1972 all the way to 1983 And uh, more recently they tried to make a comeback I right. think they're trying. They're still trying. I think when you look at that comeback, it's not so much they're trying to make a comeback because their their fan base is so huge. Uh, mm. As much as we look at them and say, eh, they're not quite sounding the way they used to, their true hardcore fans are Love loving it. what they're mm. doing. You absolutely think so? Love, yeah. yeah, absolutely loving what they're doing. Because, you know, uh, I, I was I'm a thinking... Bitist. I, I was thinking maybe because I'm not a huge ABBA fan, yeah. you know, they yeah. they should have just um, they they shouldn't have made that comeback. But then again, gone out on a high. I right? mean, if it's a money thing, I'm sure they made quite a bit oh, from that. They made a, as well. They, they so. made a ton out of this comeback. They made an absolute ton. Do you mm. think ABBA have sold out? Well, you know, yes or no. Our WhatsApp, what? please eight eight five five zero ninety one three. Yeah. Do you think ABBA have sold out? I think according to the question? fans, like FD says, no. I mean, b- no. F- big big fanatics always want to see their favorite stars come back. No matter how old they are, no matter how wrinkly they are or pruny they look, they want to see them come back. <laughs> okay, <laughs> if you enjoy ABBA, then please enjoy this one. Song number seven on the countdown. This is Dancing Queen on 1FM 91.3's Big Show. Show us the video. You are the dancing queen, young and sweet. Oh. Okay, oh, you're, you're not whole. You're not whole. 
You know, that was so frustrating. I wanted to know how old she was. You were the dancing queen. Like, how old 17. was she? <laughs> so they, they formed in 1972, man. Wow. wow. In 1972 yeah. in Stockholm. Of course, they were Eurovision champions, right? Yes, that's right. They yeah. were so... Eurovision con- champions. And as you mentioned earlier, Glenn, the most commercially successful, one of the most commercially successful acts mm. in all of popular history. They've yeah. had 48 hit singles. Wow. 48. And how and weird is it that they've all slept number. with each other? Huh? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's true. They exchange because partners. They're not brother yes. sister. No, 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 they're not no, related. No, <laughs> no. Uh, the girls were married to the guys, yeah. then divorced, and then married they again. Switched. Yeah. They switched. Oh, all right. Yeah. All right. Keep it so in it family. Was, uh, yeah, it's like the really interesting. Line. Yeah, but they're all really happy. I mean, look, I mean, these things happen, right? Yes, um, yes. If it yeah. works, it works, right? So they're all still together and they're still, you know, they're so successful. My goodness. I think if I'm not mistaken, Agnetha is the richest of the lot. Or, or could it be... Uh, beyond either one of them right uh they're worth something like uh four five hundred million dollars wow i wow. think it's 480 million or something yeah mm. it, the, 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 the rest are only are the rest only have about 200 million <laughs> yeah, only. Pocket only, uh, only. <laughs> only, yeah. Very small. All right, okay, guys. Uh, I just have to interrupt you because now we want to listen from uh, listen to what Dr. Jerry has to say. She comes on on Tuesdays for Therapy Tuesdays, and she here are her seven tips for mental health. Hi everyone, I'm psychologist Jerry, and I have seven mental wellness tips for all of us. First one, catch the sun. So we've been indoors for far too long. So let's go out and catch some vitamin C. And while we are out there, let's move. Move to the beat or just dance in the rain. And talk. What is my profession? Is getting you to talk. That's the third one. And the fourth one, what do we talk about? We talk about emotions. Be congruent. Talk about happy. Talk about sad. But more than that, be congruent. If you need to laugh, laugh. If you need to cry, cry. Um, and sometimes you need to be silent. Just silence. Being with yourself. And if you do need to be with yourself, just let your friends and family know. And rest. Let's rest. Let's take time to be with ourselves. Let our brain decompress. And maybe just to luxury in a beautiful memory. And the last one is have colors in your food. I have colors <laughs> in my food and it lifts the mood <laughs> up so much. So here you have it. Let's catch the sun, move, talk, be congruent, let's be silent, rest and colors in our food there you have it all the tips for you let me know when you try it if it works see you thank you jerry thank Aww, you so she's much so sweet. she's so <laughs> calming she's so yeah. calming <laughs> all right we're going dr back. jerry seven tips for mental health okay. on air in three okay two one Good morning, Singapore, and welcome back to The Big Show and The Big Show TV. Hope you're enjoying uh, listening to us and watching us at the same time. Uh, now, once again, we'd like to thank our music director, Charmaine Poir, for working so hard, uh, putting the 1FM greatest hits of all time countdown together every year. I mean, mm. it takes a lot of work, and uh, we just want you to know, Charmaine, that we recognize uh, that it is a lot of hard work and uh we want to thank you for that, and uh, I'm sure the One FM fans would like to thank you for that as well. Because you know, I've I've gotten nothing but but excellent feedback. You know, every single year when One FM 91.3's greatest hits of all time countdown uh, happens, you know, for two weeks, you know, they say they don't know what they're gonna get when they listen into yeah, the radio. True, it's like yeah. a like a box of chocolates. <laughs> <laughs> you never know what you're gonna get. I'm so happy I just came that came up with that. Yeah, you know, it's a great line. Yeah, I've well, never heard it before. Should, yeah. 
Yeah, you should trademark that line. You should sure. definitely write it down <laughs> so right, I, it can, down I, can, I can remember to it's use okay, it It's okay, you can again. re-watch this video. This is called committing to you the You can re-watch this video on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so earlier on, uh, for those of you who are just joining us, uh, we, we played uh, song number 10 on the countdown. was Queen's We Are The Champions at number 9, Alphaville's Forever Young at number 8, Bon Jovi's It's My Life. Um, number 7 was Abba's Dancing Queen. And now we move on to song number 6. It's by Guns N' Roses. <gasps> I can hear everybody going, oh Uh-oh. no, is that, is that the song I guessed was going to be number one or is going to be number one this year? Oh, man. Um, Which one is I it? don't think so. Okay. I don't think it's that song because I think many people want Guns N' Roses' uh, Sweet Child of Mine to be number one again. We haven't heard it mm. yet. So, yeah, yeah we yeah. haven't heard it yet. So that's Great still track. in the running And we're talking about $1,700 worth of prizes uh, That we're giving away Right after the countdown Okay So Alright Not going to keep you in suspense <laughs> This is Guns and Roses At number 6 With November Rain Ooh. November Rain One of the best music videos Please play the whole thing <laughs> okay. okay I play it this much for you Ingo. <laughs> Okay Um, that much. Well, that's the best scene, wow, right? <laughs> Stephanie Seymour. Oh my goodness. That's all you get. <laughs> hey, was that yeah. Yasmin Laban as well? Yasmin Laban no, is in Stephanie that. Stephanie Seymour. Stephanie Seymour. Okay. The, she ended up marrying uh, Axl Rose. In real ah. life. In real life. In real life. In real yeah. life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, they life. got married oh, yeah. in real life. See how much taller yeah. she is. What? One of the supermodels <laughs> of the Did time. Did you see them at the altar just now? Okay. Without further ado. The yeah. song at number six, Guns N' Roses, November Rain. And that means, uh, let's go back to our contributors. Tuesdays, uh, we have Dr. Jerry. Dr. Jerry is followed by uh, what I like to term the Motorhead's dream. Julian <laughs> Cole comes on from SG Karma, and we talk everything cars and around cars. So for Julian, what he's going to give us today, because we're at number six, is six things to look out for when getting a car. Here's Julian. Hey guys, welcome to The Big Show TV. I'm Julian from SG Carman and today I'm gonna talk about the six things you need to know when getting a car. The first things first, always do your research. Homework is key. You can hop onto sgcarman.com or you can even hop onto any other website that you're comfortable or familiar with, doesn't matter. Just do ample research because With research, you'll probably have a better idea of whether or not you have the budget for the car and whether or not the car will fit your needs and your wants. So that's always key when getting a car here in Singapore. Second point is because of current situation, the pandemic and all, it's always advisable to give uh, the showroom a call before heading down. It's always good to book a test drive appointment before heading down as well. So this way it won't be a wasted trip for you. Uh, With current situations, the sales rep may not be available, the car that you want to buy may not be available for test drive, so give them a call so that they can prep the car for you. Uh, This brings me to my third point, which is when you're going down to the showroom, try not to head down alone. I mean, with restrictions, you can't bring the whole family with you, unfortunately. You can't bring the kids, you can't bring the parents, you can't bring your in-laws with you, that's fine, but at least bring your partner with you so that it can be a joint decision it can be a family affair Um, buying a car won't be that daunting when you have someone with you Uh, so it's always advisable not to go down alone Uh, the fourth point is when you're test driving the car the sales rep will be with you ask away don't feel scared don't feel shy the sales rep's job is to answer all your questions find out what you want to know about the car, the safety system, the infotainment system, even the COE system. If you want to find out a little bit more, ask away because you need to understand what the car can do for you. You need to be comfortable with the car and to be comfortable with the car, sometimes you need to ask a lot of questions. Ask 50, 80, 100 questions if you need to. Make sure they are answered correctly and accurately and make sure you're comfortable with it. Um, This brings me to my fifth point, which is When you're in the car, because of the advancement of technology, new cars and all, meddle with the systems. 
you need to meddle and try out all the fancy, fancy new systems. It can be from the infotainment system, it can be the safety systems, it can be some different driving modes. Meddle away because, like I said, you need to understand um, all these things before buying a car. I mean, you need to find out if the car can actually fit your needs and your wants because, after all, you are the buyer. Uh, last but not least, which is the sixth point. Don't feel pressured to say yes. If you feel that the car isn't for you, feel free to just tell the sales rep, this car is not for me, I want to keep my options open, don't feel obligated, don't feel pressured to buy the car. The car needs to serve you. You can't be serving the car. The car needs to serve you. Always bear that in mind um, so that you'll have longevity with the car, that is important. So yes, there you have it, six points to take note of when getting a car. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. In the meantime, stay safe, be well, and I'll catch you soon. See you. <laughs> Thank you, Julian, <laughs> editor you. of SG Karma. Thank you Great so very much for too. your tips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. very nice t-shirt. <laughs> I, was, I was just listening to Julian and I thought it was so funny. You've got to test the safety systems. I'm going to picture this guy going into a car showroom this weekend, banging on the steering wheel, going, oh, no. airbag don't work, la. airbag don't work. <laughs> no, and he was also encouraging everyone to meddle with the infotainment. Yeah, yeah you see all these people going in there and pressing buttons and all that. Julian, it's all you're doing. Go in it's and turn up to so funny. 1 FM and then yeah. crank up volume to 100. There you go. Switch all the car radios to 1FM. But you know, I've been watching uh, Julian's car reviews. They're a lot of fun. Mm. Mm. They are, fun. yes. Yeah. yes. Yeah. They're, they're He's very active on TikTok as well. Yeah, he is. He is. Yeah. yeah. He's very good. He's very okay, good. you know, I've been thanking, uh, you know, quite a few people, right? I, mm -hmm. I, at this point in time, I just want to thank our social media and marketing folks as well for... Mm -hmm for helping us out uh, during this this countdown. Uh, Bryant, uh, Alden, Shaista, and of course, I mean, I thanked her earlier on, but I'll thank her again, Jia Hui. Yeah. Yes. Thank you so much. It's their first countdown with us. Oh, Aww. yes, yeah. it is. Yes, it, it is. is. Yeah. Yeah. Let's not forget our producer as well, uh, yes. Shalini. Shalini, this is yes. Shalini Susan, yes. this is her first uh, countdown. As well. And of course, the rest of the DJs that are on throughout the day because they Absolutely. were counting down as well. Uh, yes. And they yeah. helped to hold a fort down for, for like 913 songs. How amazing mm. is that? Uh, yeah. From last Wednesday till today. And I believe we're down to the top five. Yes, man. After this, when we're coming up with the top we, five. We're just absolutely amazing. You know, Sean, someone yes. on our Facebook commented about your outfit. Oh, hello. I think it was Fiona. She says you look like a bunny boy. What's a, what's a bunny I think boy? she was trying to say Playboy, but she said Bunny Boy. Oh, okay. <laughs> she put a, a little rabbit, rabbit emoji as well. There Should you go. I stand like you this know thing? what? You know what? I've got a male rabbit at home. Doesn't look anything like Sean. <laughs> put put my bow tie on, on it. I have an idea. How about spraying your rabbit pink? Yes. Oh, there you go. No. Like a little streak. No. Yeah. A little streak. <laughs> That'll be fun. That Come on. For Let's breast cancer for awareness fun. month. Yeah. Yes. No, 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 no. They have what these, the these harmless the uh, sprays, yeah, yeah. right? That that uh, no, some no. pet shops use on, Can on their dogs. Can we just spray no. the tail? Just the tail? No. One, one no. ear, maybe? Die, die okay. the tail. No. I do the not foot? believe in changing, Can you changing the color Can we, of an Can we dye animal. your hair pink? <laughs> How about that? If no, you won't allow I'm an to animal it, too. I don't believe in <laughs> dying there. <laughs> no, but won't the color fade? I mean, these special sprays, like if you spray a rabbit, after a while, they the do. color yeah, will, of course. will, will no, but yeah. disappear. I would never right? do that. I would never do that because I feel that sort of thing stresses a, an animal out. That's it's my cruelty. I, I, yeah, no, it's they terrible. they also want to be fashionable, right? Eh? No, they don't. <laughs> I'm sure. I still want to get one of my rabbits and compare it to Sean. No, how I much time do they, we have left, Sean? I don't think they feel stressed seconds. out, lah. They don't. No, I don't have time. Well, no, let's, let's I, I, I worry. I, I mean, I can't say that they do. I mean, I can't. Uh, uh, professionally say they do but I, I would imagine if you're used to seeing yourself in one tone mm. and suddenly that Glenn, tone should changes should we spray a uh, biscuit? Well well if he but, wants to I'll ask him Yeah Yeah. okay okay. there you go you're going to ask him yeah right okay. <laughs> okay it's time to go back on air <laughs> <laughs> okay three two
Guns N' Roses, November Rain, number six on 1FM 91.3's Greatest Hits of All Time Countdown. And of course, uh, on the Big Show TV, we just uh, saw one of our contributors, the editor of SG Car Mart, Julian Coe's Six Things to Look Out For When Getting a Car. You know what? If you want to catch uh, all this, let's say you're not watching us on the Big Show TV right now for some reason, you can anytime. This afternoon, go back and, and, and watch it. It's on our Facebook page. That's 1FM 91.3. And uh, go tell all your friends to follow us on our Facebook page as well as on our Instagram as well. That's 1FM 91.3. Off air, I thanked uh, some people who are helping us out on 1FM 91.3's Greatest Hits of All Time for the very first time this year. And that's uh, people from our marketing and social media team, uh, Bryant, Alden, Shaista, Chahue, and of course our producer extraordinaire, Shalini Susan as well. The reason why I'm doing this as the countdown is going on because it's because I know I'll forget, you know, <laughs> saying my thank yous at the end of the countdown, at the end of it, like yeah. I did last year. You know, so oh, okay. um, so this way, you know, we we recognize the people who helped us yeah. out uh, throughout really the past few weeks and months. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yep. So now we have uh, counted down from 913 from last Wednesday. We're down to the last 10, but I believe we're down to the last. Five now, is that right, Glenn? You're keeping score of what Correct. where we are at. Correct. I think we should just um, Rock and roll. go along and just play the song right now, shall what we? What is it? Yes. All right. You it's by it? Bon Jovi once again. Again. Wow. <laughs> yes. Wow. Bon Jovi. This is Living on a Prayer, song number five on One FM ninety one point three's greatest hits of all time countdown. Jing, 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 you remember jing, the video? Jing, jing. No, actually. Yeah. Okay, I can't remember it. Refresh your memory. <laughs> oh, 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 okay. <laughs> now everyone's going to be watching those videos on YouTube. <laughs> yeah, go, go and watch. Uh, I mean, after, after right. I'll calm down, of course. Uh, okay, after, so yeah, it's number now. five. Huh? Number, number five. five. That's number five. So we've seen uh, our Monday contributors, uh, Natalie Dow and Bibi Chia. We've seen our Tuesday contributors, Dr. Jerry and uh, Julian Ko. And now for Wednesday, we usually have special guests that come on. And we also have a very special music man that comes on at the end. And we get to sing along, sometimes very badly, but we sing along nonetheless. Here is Johan, also known as Jeng Jeng Johan, with his top five music moments. Hey, it's Johan here and I'm presenting to you my top five music moments. Five, five. <laughs> All right, number five. Nirvana on MTV Unplugged in 1993. It has been 28 years since the American rock band Nirvana's historic performance that became the band's best selling album. On November 18th, 1993, Nirvana took on MTV Unplugged. That night, the biggest group of the decade staged one of the most hypnotical, intimate rock concerts ever captured on film. Number four. Axel Rose and Elton John's performing Bohemian Rhapsody at Freddie Mercury Tribute Concert. On 29th April 1992, Axel and John took the stage alongside the band Queen to perform their iconic hit Bohemian Rhapsody that took place at London's Wembley Stadium. That performance left the crowd with massive goosebumps. Whether it was Axel's unstoppable vocal performance or Elton's charisma, this was one performance that would have kept Freddie smiling wherever he is. Number 3. Michael Jackson's Moonwalk at Motown 25 Michael Jackson was performing his new song Billie Jean on May 16, 1983 when an extraordinary moment took place that changed dance history. Number 2. Queen at Live 8 on July of 1985, the biggest bands of rock and roll came together for Live Aid to support relief efforts for the Ethiopian famine. That day featured U2, Black Sabbath, The Who and the reunited Led Zeppelin, but it was Queen who stole the show. Freddie's performance was incredible as he commanded the stage and the 72,000 crowd which proved to be one of his last major performances. 
Number 1. Prince's Purple Rain Performance at the Super Bowl 2007 Halftime Show It was February the 4th, 2007 where Prince performed his iconic song Purple Rain in front of 74,000 people and peaked 140 wow. million views. Prince took to the massive stage and ended the show with a tear-inducing rendition of Purple Rain as rain cascaded around him and therefore makes that my number 1 in my top 5 music moments. Nice. So yeah. that wow. are my top five music moments. <laughs> so tell me, what's your top five music moments? Oh, <laughs> Thank really? You. Wow. 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 Johan wow. Lee. That was awesome. That was wow. really, really nice. He insisted done, on doing yeah. his own editing, by the way. You know, oh, that was great. Uh, was very Thank good. you so much, Johan. You know, I, I think yeah. that's a great question on the part of Johan. It's like, let's think of our top five, you know, as, as far as music uh, that goes. Mm. Okay, here we go. We're coming up. Living on a Prayer, number 5 on 1FM 91.3's Greatest Hits of All Time Countdown 2021. And just like that, we're moving into the top four. Wow. For those Ooh. of you who are watching us on The Big Show TV, uh, we just had uh, Johan Lee's top five music moments. Um, amazing. Great. Thank you so much, uh, Johan, for that. Uh, his number one music moment was... Purple Rain performed uh, at the Super Bowl halftime show back in mm -hmm. 2007. I completely forgot yeah. about that. That was absolutely yeah. spectacular. I mean, we've yeah. seen some spectacular acts during the halftime show at Super Bowl, but mm -hmm. that was uh, that was absolutely Special. amazing. Mm -hmm. Amazing! If you know, if you want to watch like highlights of that, um, you know, do watch us uh, once again on Facebook, okay? Because you'll be able to watch this show uh, anytime, anytime after this. I do believe uh, we're on YouTube as well. Okay. Yes. yes, we are. Yes, and on podcast as well. And on podcast, <laughs> we're as well. everywhere. Yeah. Ah, we're everywhere. <laughs> okay, just want to shout out to our bosses who are tuned in right now. See <laughs> more shout outs. Good, good, good. Shout, shout, shout. To, uh, like, you know, like to our thank. program director Bernard Lim and uh, to our general manager Mr. Sim Hong Huat as well. Okay. Uh, by the way, our general manager Mr. Sim Hong Huat is a huge rock fan, so I'm sure um, you know he's put in his guesses as to which song is going to be number one, and I'm sure his choice is a rock artist. Now, uh, that's the question. Is it going to be another rock band or rock artist uh, this year? Mm. Well, good yeah. question. Yeah. Is it right? going to be last year's same number one song? Mm. That hasn't played yet, mm. has it? It hasn't. No, it hasn't. It hasn't. No. Okay, it so, hasn't. so it's too late for you guys to take part in the contest. <laughs> we are going to call out to uh, you know one of uh, you know the people who have um, WhatsApped us. Yeah. All right, mm -hmm. to take part in the Guess the Number One Song Contest. That's immediately after this countdown. But right now, you know, just for kicks, just for fun, if you want to guess the number one song for this year, you can do it on WhatsApp as well. 8855-0913. All right, moving so basically, along right you're not going to win anything. <laughs> yeah, you're not going to win <laughs> right? anything. But bragging rights. Lah. Yeah, that's true. You can yeah. Yeah. I called okay, it. I called true. it. Yeah, yes, exactly. Yes, okay, okay yeah. shall we move on to song number four? Let's do that. Okay, here we go. Song number four is by Morton Harkett and Gang. Aha's uh -huh, Take On Me. Number four, number four, number four on 1FM 91.3's Greatest Hits of All Time Countdown. All right, here we go. The video. Take on me. That's how the video goes. <laughs> Gosh, Take I remember that video so well. <laughs> yeah, right? It was so special so well. when it first came out, right? I was like, wow, you know, the look at that, the animation The animation and the drawing, the sketching, yeah. yeah. And then I started really, really uh, really like good. buying these, uh, you know, thick uh, uh, blank booklets and just drawing so stick men. Oh, no, you did it, right? not. And then flipping it. <laughs> yeah, well, <laughs> the original way of making animation, right? <laughs> that was so cool. So special. So special. Okay. Unbelievable. I can't, believe, right. I can't believe Glenn actually did that. <laughs> so this is the song at number four, Aha's Take On Me. Mm -hmm. We've cleared Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday when it comes to our regular contributors on the show. Then on Thursday, we start to talk careers. We start to talk to Adrian Chu, who is a career strategist. He comes on and he helps people uh, understand what they should be doing in their careers. So today, Adrian is going to give us his top four ways to get a better job. Are you looking for a better job? Well, if you think about it, job hunting is very much like gardening. And as many of our regular listeners out there know, I am an avid gardener. Hi, my name is Adrian Chu and I'm the resident career strategist for 1FM's 
The Big Show with Glenn Angel, Effie and Sean. Let me share some gardening ideas. Uh, I mean, some job search tips with you. <laughs> job search can be a tedious process. Looking for opportunities can get very tiring. In fact, some say that looking for the right job is almost a full-time job in itself. But remember, to get big fruits, you need to water your plants daily. <laughs> One of the secrets to my luscious garden is that I water my babies twice a day without fail. Twice? Once in the morning and once again in the evening. Now, this involves a lot of discipline and commitment, but the results show for themselves. Likewise, if you are in job search mode, you need to keep up your daily activities. Connect with your networks to look for leads, go on LinkedIn to see if anything interesting pops up and follow up closely with your recruiters. Like a baby plant, your job search needs a lot of water, especially during the early stages until the root system is fully developed to absorb on their own. Keep the activities up and don't slip. Another gardening lesson I learned is that you can't force a plant to grow faster, even if you try. Adding more fertilizer won't make your fruits grow bigger. In fact, it could even kill the plant. You will need to be patient to let nature take its course. Likewise, if you're job hunting, there's always a sense of urgency and impatience, especially when things don't seem to go quite fast enough. So we try to rush things, get overly worried, and sometimes end up making a mess of the process. Realize that once the seeds are sown, and as long as you're making the right moves, just let nature take its course. Be patient. Worrying won't help you at all. Just know that it's only a matter of time before you land a job. If you'd like to hear more career advice, tune in every Thursday morning at 8am on The Big Show TV and learn how you can be happy at work. This okay, is Adrian happy Chu, at work. your career strategist. <laughs> Have a great career ahead. Aha! Uh -huh, right here on 1FM 91.3's Greatest Hits of All Time Countdown. They are at number four this year. For those of you who guessed that they would be the greatest hit of all time, the greatest <laughs> band of all time this year. I'm sorry. Sorry about that, folks. Uh -oh. You guys are not going to win the $1,700 worth of prizes. All right. But once again, for those of you who have taken part in the Guess the Number One Song Contest, stay by your phones because uh, we'll be calling out to, well, I believe calling out to you. All right. Yeah, I you. believe we'll be calling out to you <laughs> immediately after the countdown. Yeah. So if you see a number ending with 913, don't think it's a scam call. Okay. You got to pick it up. <laughs> yeah. A lot of people are scared to pick up their phones nowadays. That's true. That's true. Please yeah. pick up your phone. FD, do you have a little, uh, you know, information about, uh, uh huh? Okay. We know that they're, they're, they're Norwegian, uh, formed in Oslo back in 1982. But what is interesting, um, you know, there was a time when they when they were re releasing their albums. Remember, they've done 10 studio albums, a whole bunch of compilation albums and four live albums um, in in uh, in the year 2010. In a, in a space of about four months, they did a series of concerts in in Norway and they earned after cost five hundred million Norwegian Ooh, krona. Wow. Oh, okay. in How much is that in dollars? <laughs> 20 dollars. Yeah. That's a lot. That is huge. Yeah, that's still uh, smaller than the just... salmon industry in, uh, <laughs> <laughs> in Norway. Everything is smaller than the salmon <laughs> yeah. industry in Norway. <laughs> <laughs> but that 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 just shows you know that that shows the kind of uh, uh, following they have. Um, you notice always... Angel didn't find that funny because she's vegan. She don't know what salmon. <laughs> yes. No, I'm 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 also googling how much five hundred million krona is. Oh, okay. okay. Now they've they've had these numerous uh, number ones in Norway because obviously Norwegian band. Um, but when it came to the U.S. Billboard charts, they never really broke the US billboard charts. They would get into the top 20, they'd reach almost number 10, and then they'd fade up. Uh, so, mm. so they never really worked in the US, but they were very popular in Europe. They were very popular in the UK. Maybe the American market, not quite their market though. And here in Asia as well. They were pretty mm. big. Yeah, they're, they're, they're big they're, here they're, in they're, Asia. They're, they're big in Asia. Uh, they were mm. very big in Eastern Europe. 
They were yeah. very big in mm. Eastern Europe. Mm. As yeah, well. they certainly put they Norway on on the, the yeah on the, the, on the world oh, yeah. map for sure. Yeah, yeah. 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 So yeah, five hundred sure. million uh, Norwegian krona, seventy nine million Singapore dollars. Oh. Seventy nine million dollars in yeah. four months. Wow. That yeah, it's not bad. Yeah, it's not bad at all. It's not bad. Yeah, it's not mm. bad at all. Yeah, that's pretty good money. You know who's giving Norway a bad name in these days? The Ooh. salmon. You know who's giving Norway a very bad Ole name? Ganesh Tolshire. Yeah. <laughs> How did we not see that coming? Yeah, yeah we right. Have seen that one coming. <laughs> Damn. Uh, Ole out. Ole out. <laughs> Out, you fool. <laughs> he doesn't it's look so good funny. as an older person. I'm sorry. He used to have such a cute baby face. And now that he's grown up, it's just kind of like his face didn't change. He just got wrinkly. Yeah. Like, I just lo- not, I, I love the relationship. relationship. I love the relationship <laughs> between Glenn and Ollie. You know, Ollie makes makes one really good signing and Glenn goes, yeah. And then, you know, one draw and Ollie out. Ollie, like, this week, this hey, weekend, hey, we're playing Leicester. I'm sure we'll lose again. Oh, oh, and then I'll be oh, tweeting Ollie won't. out again. I mean, for how long more? <laughs> you know, can my fingers take it? <laughs> oh, you know? Just copy and paste. Copy, copy okay. and paste. <laughs> yeah. Let's move on with the countdown right now. One FM ninety one point three is greatest hits of all time. Countdown continues with song number three, and Ooh. it's by. Guns N' Roses, last Uh-oh. year's Uh-oh. greatest hit of all time is this year's number three, Sweet Child of Mine. <laughs> so if you voted that, uh-oh. <laughs> there are people just flopping. <laughs> yep, you know how it sounds like. Yeah, there are yeah, people yeah, standing yeah, in their so. living rooms now who have just dropped to their knees. Yeah, okay, <laughs> but you know, I got to talk to Charmaine Poir. I got to talk to Charmaine Poir. I got to talk to Bernard Lim. I got to talk to uh, Mr. Sim Hong Huat, our general manager, and what make about? sure, right, uh, that we we implement this this uh, this rule. All right, that mm. once a song gets to number one that song cannot be number one again the following year wow. I, yeah i think that's a great rule yeah actually it makes sense but yep. how do we do it yeah. though you know because people are voting we just tell See, them. that's the yeah, that's because the problem at the end of the day at the end of the day it is the people's choice of the greatest hit of all time and yeah. and if you get the same hit four years in a row then mm. you know it is I, I think it hit. needs to hit i think it needs to hit at least twice or three times before you say it can't happen again and then mm. it goes into a separate it goes into a separate category of truly all-time great hits. What if Hall fans, of Fame? Like what if they do you like think? if they win three like times, if it wins three times then it can be like the Hall of Fame song. Hall of Fame. Yeah. Yeah, it's like a Hall what of Fame. What do you think? One FM fans, what do you think should uh should a, a winning song um be Hello. you know be able to win again the following year? Yes or no? WhatsApp us 8855091319. No. Meanwhile, I like how Facebook you're giving page. all these. Yeah, you're giving all these uh, question yes no answers. You see all the WhatsApp coming in, and you won't even know what question they're answering. It's just yes no yes no yes no yes no. <laughs> Actually, we should recall. No? Shalini, maybe yeah. later you just go through. Uh, you know some of the uh, <laughs> answers. Stay here till tomorrow. Okay. I started, like, asking, yeah. like, I started asking these questions the like question at, um, at eight a.m. I think eight a.m. Yeah, no, you don't yeah, even you remember what that was. Yeah, Shalini is looking yeah. at Glenn, and in her mind, she's going, "You crazy! You crazy!" <laughs> She's on her phone, not. She's got the... something. She's got something right now, actually. Oh yeah. I think it's okay. Just, just tell us. Come. Yeah. What does it? What does it say? Will on WhatsApp guess? Oh, somebody guessed Baby Shark on WhatsApp for number one. Oh what? no! No no no! <laughs> you no, got my no, pick, no, lah, bro. No, no. On our Facebook no, page, no. people are going crazy after we announced that Sweet Child of Mine is uh, number three. Everybody, no, yeah. no, no. Oh, no. But you know what? Someone someone on our Facebook said uh, you should allow it because it's like <laughs> your favorite food. If you like chicken rice, you can eat it forever. Wow. Exactly. Yeah. Oh. So idea. that was exactly. uh, Wun Tai Wun that said that. Okay. So but but I, 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 like, I like Angel's idea of putting them in a Hall of Fame. That's a good idea. Yeah. So win yeah. three if times, win go into a Hall times, of Fame. Yeah. My goodness, we'll be doing this forever then. <laughs> oh, why not? Why not? Come on. All I'll right, so what do we have then, yeah. next? We're at the number two song, are we? We wow. are now doing number three, so we need our number three. Number uh, three song. Any any information about uh, wait, wait, we need oh, our number contributor three. first. Yes. Oh, oh yeah, correct. we've got about we our contributor. Okay, come on, let's yeah. do it. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. So on Thursdays, uh, as FD said, we do have Adrian Chu, but we've also got another two contributors, and the next contributor is our Veducator as well as personal development coach. Here's Luke Tan with his top three tips for personal development. 
Hi guys, this is Luke, coach and veducator. You may have heard or seen me on Thursdays at 8.30 a.m. My three quick tips are the first one is breathe. Take a deep breath in, deep diaphragmatic breathing and focus on whatever is around you and connect to the present moment. So breathing will remove your stress, will improve your focus. Number two, eat the rainbow. Each color represents a different micronutrient that your body needs. So whenever you're looking at your plate, look at the purples, where's my orange, where's my green, where's my yellow, where is my red? Consume a diet that is high in color and high in fiber, whole plant-based foods. Number three, find gratitude in all that you have. Every single morning, take some time out to write three things you are grateful for. Celebrate the life that you have. When you pause for a moment and reflect on all that you have in your life, you are truly rich. Wishing you guys all the best in health and life. See you soon. Thank you so much, Luke. Love it. Always so positive. I'm gonna get there, you know, as in like I'm gonna I'm gonna get like in in great shape, like Luke. I can see it he now. He is he is uh he is my uh, inspiration. inspiration. Okay, I've got to say I picked up on Luke's thing. This whole thing he's, he's said it many times before. Eat colors. The mm -hmm. more colors you eat, the better. I had and Skittles I last night, no. Last night I had exactly. Skittles. No, that doesn't count. I, no, that was not eat the rainbow. It does. The I rainbow. went out and I bought four packets. <laughs> oh no, you guys are terrible. Eat the rainbow. That's not, not what the it rainbow. is. The no Skittles, no Smarties, no M&Ms. Jelly beans? Oh man. No jelly no. beans. Okay. No. Gummy bears. No. So no you need to be gummy. very careful you know, when put, you say I, eat the rainbow, no? <laughs> I put in an order for six months of Skittles, you know. Six months. <laughs> You're going to end One up looking a like day. a Skittle. <laughs> okay, back on air. For Guns and Roses, here we go in three, two, one. Guns and Roses, sweet child of mine, last year's number one song is this year's number three. How many of you are disappointed? I'm sure many so people many. are disappointed, oh, right? Yeah. You guys had an immediate reaction. Yeah. Was it on uh, WhatsApp? Facebook. Facebook. Facebook as well. Facebook, yes. Facebook as well, yeah. Ooh. And of course, I mean, yeah. off air, I, I, I did mention that we need to discuss this, whether or not in future... Going forward, because we're going to be having uh, 1FM 91.3's Greatest Hits of All Time Countdown uh, as an annual thing, mm. you know. So, should we allow repeat uh, winners? So, in other words, mm. you know, uh, should we allow a song that's been number one to be number one again the following year? Mm. Mm. Yes or no? Well, it's, it's been going on for four years. So far, we've been doing pretty well. What, what did it start with? Right Here Waiting? And then... Uh, no, before that was Forever Young, Rhapsody? actually. Oh, Forever, Forever Young, Young, then Right Here Forever Waiting, waiting. Yeah. then Bohemian, Bohemian Rhapsody, Rhapsody. Mm -hmm. Sweet Child of Mine, that's oh, already yeah. played, so that's not going to be number one. Uh, okay. The rest of those, Right Here Waiting has already played. Yep. Uh, Forever okay. Young's already played. Oh. Yeah. Bohemian Rhapsody hasn't played. Right. Mm. You know, I was, right? I was hoping that Right Here Waiting by Richard Marx would be number one again this year. Again? Well, why, then you would, would be you the only that? one. <laughs> he wants to slow down. Then, then, see, see what I just did? I just tested everybody, right? I know. <laughs> so everybody went, no! But then, no! if I had mentioned, I wish that Sweet Child of Mine was number one again yes. this year, everybody will go, yeah! yeah! So you see? Yes. Yeah. That's our biasness. Yeah. That's, That's not good, you know. But I guess deep interesting down inside, we're all we're, we're all biased. We are when it comes, uh, you know, to music. I just hope and I pray that everyone will be happy with this year's number one song. Number one it's, song. It's mm. just around the corner because we're moving to song number two right now. Are we ready? <laughs> yeah. Let's do what this. Song number two is also a former number one song on One FM's mm. greatest hits of all time countdown. Uh oh. This is Queen with Bohemian Rhapsody, Whoa. number two on the countdown. Queen. There's no real chorus for this song. Eh? That hair. Okay, this is, mama it's, it's Mia, Mama Mia. <laughs> they, I don't think no. they repeat it. Uh, it is a song. It is, it is considered a six-minute suite. 
Sweet. that is notable for several sections. There's an intro, mm. a ballad, operatic passage, a rock section, and a reflective coda. There are six parts wow. to one song. Yeah, which is why Mike There's Myers no in, in, like in the movie, mm. you know, I mean, he was playing the the uh, record label chief, right? Yeah, and right. Uh, he said, no, you know, this song, you've got you've to shorten it. It's too long. No it's radio station long. is going to play this song. True. I mean, yeah, if you think yeah. about it, there's no other song like it. Bohemian Rhapsody is is legendary. Yeah. Mm. Okay, you know what? Sean, Sean Chua is waiting. Yes, sir. Sean appears uh, on our show on, on Thursdays when he comes up and he, he dazzles us with magic. And because this is the song at number two, Sean is going to show us the best, the two best card tricks in under a minute. Well, he, don't bring, he doesn't bring his cards for this one, but magic tricks. Magic, magic tricks. Hey guys, this is Sean C. And today I'm going to show you two of my favorite tricks you can do under a minute. All right, so this first one is going to be quick and easy. It uses money. Mm. That's why it's one of my favorites. Um, <laughs> and two thumbs. That's all. Okay, so this is going to be an act of impossible balance. What we're going to do is fold the bill this way. All right. Place the bill on the thumbs, and this is possible balance. But this, oh. no, this is <laughs> impossible balance. Wow. Oh. Okay, that's weird. <laughs> and that's a trick you can do under a minute. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, for my second trick you can do under a minute, we're going to do something with a nut and a rope. The idea is to put the rope into the nut just like that. Holy cow, that's a big nut. Give yeah. it a while and <laughs> comes right oh. out. Oh, oh, excuse me. Oh. I'll do this one more time for those of you who are skeptical. So watch carefully. The rope goes into the nut. It's not coming out. Goes into my palm right there. I tie up my own palm just like that. And on three, one, two, three, Oh wow! Gone. That's wow. not a real rope. No, Magic. I think that's pasta. Oh, oh wow. and the nuts gone too. The nuts what? Just wow. Wow. The nuts gone as well. Well done, Sean. He Chua. lost his nuts. Yeah. <laughs> so good. Yeah. Angel. Angel. Purposely, no. <laughs> Sean, that's did he hear true. that? <laughs> Sean Chua, did he hear? That? <laughs> I know because the, the, the minute I saw the nut disappear, I went, "Is that is that a trick I can use with my mother-in-law?" But never mind. But, oh uh, no! Oh, oh mother-in-law, did you hear that? <laughs> <laughs> you me that. Uh, oh lord okay, what goodness. have i just done <laughs> all right so what uh, else do we know about bohemian rhapsody then um in 2004 it was a song that was finally it took till 2004 it was finally inducted into the grammy hall of fame it actually mm. took that long it became it has become the most streamed song of the 20th century. That was in 2018. Mm. Uh, they, they, they recorded it as the most streamed song. Uh, at that point, 1.6 billion streams. Oh, wow. That's incredible. Can you imagine that? Any song that would get 1.6 billion streams. Absolutely and that would incredible. be because of the movie, right? I think a lot of yeah, released. a lot of it had to do with the movie and and the mm. whole resurgence of Queen that, mm. that the movie created. Um, yeah. But uh, people are saying that Bohemian Rhapsody it cannot be overstated. It practically invented um, the, the idea of MTV seven years before that uh, because it mm. it was so big on MTV. Um, and mm. and they, they, it, it literally helped kickstart the whole movement. Uh, I'm just glad that, you know, the video didn't kill the radio star. But um, <laughs> at the end of the day, at the end of the day, it is ranked uh, on uh, Rolling Stone's 500 greatest hits of all time. Uh, so mm. it, is, it is an absolute classic. It is a song that is never going to die. And as I mentioned earlier, it is a song in several parts. Intro, ballad, operatic, hard rock, and reflective coda, which is why, as Glenn mentioned, when it was first, the idea was first muted 
uh, record producers went, there's no way this song's going to be a hit. This song is too long. It is too complicated. Nobody is going to want to listen to it. But uh, Freddie and the boys pushed through, and Freddie in particular, and yeah. uh, it became a massive, massive, massive hit. Okay. Angel, I mean, we can talk about this again when we get on air, just very sure. quickly. In three, two. Song number two on 1FM, 91.3's Greatest Hits of All Time Countdown, 2021. Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. Some uh, interesting facts uh, FD just gave about uh, uh, about the song Queen, uh, mm. Queen and mm-hmm. uh, uh, about the song Bohemian Rhapsody. And Angel, you wanted to ask, uh, you wanted to say something? No, I was just going to say, like, not everybody has watched the movie. And uh, because of the res- uh, resurgence of Queen uh, through Bohemian Rhapsody, the movie from 2018, I think everyone should watch it because it's a, it's such a, they're such a legendary group. Uh, their song came in number one, what was it, two years ago on 1FM 91.3's Greatest Hits of All Time. Yeah. And yeah. I think it's just, it's just a great movie to get to know the band and get to know the stories behind the music. So uh, yeah. kudos to uh, the producers and the director that put that movie together with Rami Malek and uh, it was such a, such a great story. I don't know of anyone who hasn't watched that movie actually. No. I think there are Oh, wait, Shalini, our haven't. producer Shalini you Susan go, has go, not go, watched go. it. Go. Leave she the has studio, studio. Shalini. Go, <laughs> go home now. Go home. Yeah. <laughs> is it on Netflix now? I think it is. It was. I don't know whether it's still I it think it was. I think it yeah. should still be on, on Netflix actually. I watched it a couple of uh, yeah. weeks ago so yeah, I think it is on yeah. Netflix. I've yeah, watched it like I mean, I've watched it twice. I have to say. Is that good? I've yeah. watched it twice. Yeah. Mm. I've watched it twice. Mm. Okay. Um, what's well, the time now? Oh, let me see. Time, oh, back wow. to the time check. Check. number one. Oh, my goodness. It is. It's 8.57. 8.57. So Perfect. it's just right. Oh, just just right that uh, we've come to this point right now. Yeah. The culmination of months and weeks of work. Or should we like uh, take a commercial break and then come back? <laughs> oh, actually, that's a good idea <laughs> as well. Right? I would should, love though. it. Let's do that. We just let's come back on Monday. An and, and let's go let's for a commercial break, okay? <laughs> and then uh, let's play a song that's not in the countdown. Okay. Oh, let's do uh, Free Fall Friday. Baby Shark. So, uh, <laughs> oh. <laughs> and then uh, we'll come back again with the number one song, say maybe uh, 9.30? No, la, 9.30. I thought we'd do it on Monday. Let's just go enjoy the weekend and then come back. No? We'll okay. do it after the commercial break. Are you serious? <laughs> yeah, yeah, Adrian, waiting. It's 9 o'clock, right? Headline News and Sports, yes. and then we'll come back with yes. the number one song. Yes. Oh. Really? Yes. Oh, John, you're gonna piss John, a whole John, lot of people John. off. <laughs> Call me Ryan Secrets. All right, but let's do that. Uh, up next, Headline <laughs> News and Sports, we'll come back with the number one song for 2021 on 1FM 91.3's greatest hits of all time countdown. <laughs> People on you our know, Facebook can, are like, can... "Wala, what <laughs> are you doing?" <laughs> There, there are people standing in front of mirrors now, throwing things at mirrors. They're hurling objects across yeah. the house. <laughs> Once again, uh, this is history. We've never done this before. Um, yeah, and you know, um, everyone on our Facebook is also asking for KFC too. You know, I mean, we've seen so many of our contributors, mm. and he is typically coming. He does typically come on on a Friday. Takes us through his favorite hawker centers, uh, coffee shops, and all that. So people yeah. do miss him. So. Um, Maybe we can bring him in for a while later on and see what he has to Should say. Should we bring him in what first? Actually, we can bring him in first. Wait, hold on. We but does he mention, does he no, mention he the song? Ooh. Are you sure? Okay. I'm sure, I'm sure. Are you very, sure? very sure? Yeah. So he, he's uh, going to share about his favorite breakfast food to have favorite today. Breakfast. Okay. Right. Yeah, yeah, that's so a good idea. Hungry, yeah, if you're hungry and you need some food, while you wait, we can watch uh, KFC To from Makan Sutra Fridays telling us his number one breakfast dish. So what's my uh, favorite breakfast uh, this week, uh, especially today. Yeah. Um, uh, firstly, uh, you got to wake up fresh, I mean, totally refreshed, uh, looking forward to have a great day ahead. Um, and then you sit down and think, um, wow, haha, my favorite breakfast most mornings is three kueh, that wobbly little steamed rice <laughs> cake with pickled daikon or chai po on top, sometimes uh, stir fried in a, in a very light sambal and then when you have it with uh, um, a little bit of sambal on the side and you put that soft wobbly thing, spicy, salty <laughs> and savoury and <laughs> into your mouth, you know, oh, it is good man, you see, you start the morning off with something soft, totally local and our oh, life is good. <laughs> 
Thank you very he much. And wobbly food. I mean, he, he and his wobbly food. He loves his wobbly food. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, he makes he makes a mean uh, tree kueh as well, right? I'm sure. He did Those, do it on yeah, the yeah. show, didn't he? Exactly. Right. He, he just never get yeah. to taste it. Yeah. Made it look so easy as well. I mean, he he, he, he made did. it live on the show within like forty five minutes, right? Yes. He was in yeah. his kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. I tell you, our Facebook is going Master. off. They're like, crazy. what are Everybody's you doing? Why are you making us wait for this number one song? <laughs> <laughs> what, what do you think? This is TV or what? But then it's true. Yeah, it's true. It is with Big Show TV. We have the Big Show TV. Uh, this right, is the part of the, right. the TV show where we play all our ads. Okay. So, hey, <laughs> um, let me see. Okay. So, I've got some uh, responses here from uh, WhatsApp. Mm-hmm. Okay. Uh, right. Play the song once a month. Then people will vote for it more and listen, uh, I forget my uh, question. I don't understand what that means. Yeah, what, what, what was your question you again? Oh, so about whether it should. Today. No, no, I know what it yeah. was. That what? one is referring to whether we can repeat the number one song. Oh. oh. No, we're not talking about repeating it on air. Yes. We're talking no, about no, 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 repeating it. And it yeah, as a winner the following year one during one the countdown. Yeah, yeah okay. Yeah. Uh, Tony yeah. says, don't repeat the same number one song. There you go. Yeah, I think so as well. Yeah. Leslie says, the top yeah. three should go into the Hall of Fame. Hall of well, Fame. Top, top three, which means oh. he doesn't want the top wow. three to be repeated then. That means we have 12 songs currently in the Hall of Fame. <laughs> mm. But <laughs> he has a point, in. though, you know, yeah. because I mean, if, if the number one song cannot be a repeat then you know why should we allow the other songs that perhaps maybe are repeated in in the top 10 no i think just the five. winner i think just the winner i think it's but just there just is a lot of winner, great yeah. music there Pandora's is a lot of box great is music opening out. already yeah you open yeah. one you have to you know I, I'm, I'm starting to think like okay what are the chances lah? you know that a number one song of this year is going to be number one again the following year maybe sharon very, gonzago very has uh, weighed in on what we've just done to our okay. audience Okay. Said, what, what oh, did she say? You're gonna you're gonna kinda squid game if you prolong it longer. <laughs> <laughs> Bang! <laughs> oh, chill, chill, chill. Oh, okay. 30, Thirty more seconds. Yeah, Adrian's oh, almost yeah, there. Adrian's long, almost there. You can Adrian's wait. Come on. Yeah. Adrian, Adrian is the Abraham. one <laughs> feeling stressed when I was righteous news off. <laughs> oh my god, I'm feeling a bit stressed out now because I'm thinking to myself. This better oh, be a good number one. Uh, are one of them fans <laughs> gonna like this? Number one mm. song. Gotta recap. I thought ten to one again. 10 yeah. To, 10 to yes, one. we can Absolutely. do the recap. Yeah. Yeah. It's, it's gonna. It's gonna be quite interesting to 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 see the responses when number one comes out. Okay, mm. here we go. Ten I seconds. Think... Everybody, shut up. All right. <laughs> <laughs> ten seconds. We were back on air with the number one song. Okay. This is it, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, children of all ages. We are back on The Big Show and The Big Show TV, counting down to the greatest hit of all time for 2021. All right, so let's recap the songs that we've played in the top 10 at number 10 this year. We Are the Champions by Queen at number 9. Forever Young by Elphaville at number 8. It's My Life by Bon Jovi at number 7. Dancing Queen by ABBA. Uh, wait, hold on. Uh, yeah, okay. <laughs> at number 6, November Rain by Guns N' Roses. At number five, Living on a Prayer by Bon Jovi. At number four, Take On Me by Uh Aha. At number three, Sweet Child of Mine by Guns N' Roses. And at number two, Bohemian Rhapsody by Queen. And so it is time to unveil the number one song, the greatest hit of all time for 2021. But before that, I just want to tell you (laughs) that we'll be calling out to the winner of our guest, the number one song contest for 2021. And this person is going to walk away with a three-day, two-night weekday staycation at Park Royal Collection Pickering's Collection Lifestyle Junior Suite with full club privileges, including afternoon tea and evening cocktails, plus a weekday buffet dinner at Lime Restaurant on for four all this worth over a thousand seven hundred dollars ladies and gentlemen presenting 
the number one song on 1FM 91.3's greatest hits of all time countdown 2021. This is the song you voted for to be number one this year. Hotel California by the Eagles. Oh. Number one. <laughs> Number one. Number one. Welcome to the Hotel California. Okay, you play it again. Such a lovely place. Such a lovely place. Okay. Fun fact, that is my favorite favorite. Welcome to the Hotel California. Facebook okay, is going to come after you. You know, yeah, fun fact is that's my favorite favorite karaoke song to sing. Oh, yeah? Yeah, it's my favorite karaoke song to sing. I don't mind singing that song as well. One of these days when yeah. the karaoke really... joints open up, <laughs> you know, we should head down there. If and... they if they ever do, yes. <laughs> okay, Actually, here's I think, a fun. Um, I I, I think uh, you can have karaoke at your house, but yes, you can have karaoke at your homes. Yes, yes, yes as long as you only have yes, two you... visitors. Okay. <laughs> okay, not bad. Everybody's loving the number one song. Yeah, they say yes, yes, yes. People yes. are liking yeah, it. Love the They're number one, it. number oh. one. Hotel California. At least yeah. it's a rock song. Oh, at least it's have. a rock song. How can you hate, right? Yeah. I mean, Hotel California. Can't you can't hate. Oh, on we got one. Hotel it's California. Like Frida. Oh, what? Frida say, what is this? Hotel California. <laughs> 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 Frida Isabel Shah. Ah, Frida. What? Yes. I thought she would love People Hotel California. Yeah, oh, yeah, I'm they surprised. Like I'm surprised. Yeah. Uh, FD, you want to say something? Yeah, I did. You know, if you listen to Hotel California, the song is a story. If you mm. listen to the lyrics, mm. it's a story. Here's a fun fact for you. Do you know that a screenwriter got hold of the song and wrote a movie? Hmm. And he wanted the Eagles to front the movie. And they said no. And the idea died right there. Wow. Hotel California could have been a movie. Right. Psycho. Oh, but nice. the boys. <laughs> yes. Yeah, psycho movie, right? Absolutely. Was the, 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 the Bates Hotel, not motel. <laughs> yeah. 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 But, but, but all the members of the band went, nope. This is a song. It is not going to be turned into a movie. Never, ever. We're not going to give you the right. And mm. it never happened. Okay. All right. Hey, but it's time I for us am, to uh, yeah, we gotta call check on out of this hotel right now okay. because uh, we <laughs> need to call out to, uh, you know, the winner for this year's Guess the Number One Song Contest. All right. All right. Okay. So everyone who guessed Hotel California as the number one song, please have your phone next to you right now. We will be calling out to you. All right. You're going to be a winner. All right. Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed Very it. Video. Go tell all your friends. You can watch this all over again. 1FM 91.3's Facebook page. All right. Love you guys. Bye. Take care.